Okay guys, we're going to be looking at a function in Microsoft Excel called VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP. And um, it's actually quite a very powerful function because it stands for a vertical lookup. So according to my lovely poster here, it says, looks for a value in the leftmost column. Okay, starting from the very left. I'll start again. Looks for a value in the leftmost column and returns a value from the same row in a column you specify. So it will look up and down a column till it finds something that you're looking for and return a corresponding value in another column. Okay, that's basically what it means. So your function breakdown looks like this. We have the function of VLOOKUP. We have the lookup value. In other words, what am I looking up? Okay, so in my first column, what am I looking for? All right, the table array is where am I looking? So everywhere that the information is. So the lookup value, everything, the answer, everything. The column number the, or the column index number is the column that I wanted to look in. In other words, where is the answer going to be found? That's the column I want you to look in. Okay, and the range lookup for now is false. If we were doing true, it's, it means that we're looking up an answer between, and it's more for numbers. So if it's an answer between 1 and 10, the range lookup would be true. But we're looking for exact answers, so we are saying that the range lookup is false. I'm going to explain and demonstrate how this VLOOKUP actually works. Have a look at this. So here I have Scrabble tiles, their points, okay, um, how much each tile is worth. Right, and that's like legit. I Googled this. It's true. And so in column, what is this? Column e, uh, E3. So in cell E3, I'm going to use VLOOKUP to look up whatever I type in here. Whatever I put into D3, I want it to tell me what the points value is of that letter. That's what VLOOKUP can do. So this is what we do. Equals VLOOKUP. V lookup. Now let's have a look at all the arguments. Okay, the arguments. We, the first thing I look, I'm looking up is the lookup value. In other words, what am I looking up? I'm looking up this D3, the letter, the letter A, or whatever I've typed in there. Okay, so it's the cell. So look up D3, whatever is in D3, then comma for my next argument, the table array. In other words, where am I looking? Well, I'm going to start by A go across there to B, all the way down, all the way down, till I get to Z, perfect, there it is there. So that is my table array from A6 all the way down to B31. Now, the column index number. As you can see, I have selected a table or a table array, and it's made up of two columns. So the table, the column index number is where the answer is going to be. In other words, where the column is that I want it to go down once it's found the letter A or whatever the letter I'm looking for. And so it's going to be the second column, column number two. So don't look at A or B and, you know, it's column B or A. It's the number, the, the, it's the number of the column, okay? So it's the first one or the second one or the third one. Okay, you'll see that in another exercise in a minute. So column uh, two and, of course, not false, false. There we go. And it's working. It's working. Check it out. So A is one point. So there, A. If I type in uh, B, beautiful, C, what's X? X is eight points, is Z uh, bigger? <gasps> Z is 10 points, okay. So do you see what's happening? Okay, I actually made this into a little drop down, uh, just with data validation, just to make it easier. But as you can see, it looks up whatever is in here and it displays the value there, okay. It's beautiful, so it goes, it looks down, it finds it, and then goes to the second column, tells me what's there. All right, now, what happens if I have nothing to look up? You will notice that I have this weird looking hash n slash a all right what does that even mean it means that a value is not available that's the na not available that's something that it is required for this function to calculate is not available and in this situation the lookup value d3 is not available because there's nothing in it if i had to give it a value then the function's working. So have a look when you uh, do do something and you get this like NA, it doesn't mean not applicable, no, it means not available. So something, it needs to find something that belongs 
in, this, in, in the function to calculate. All right, let's look at the next one, the next example, sales reps. So here you can see I have a table over here and I've got some IDs and each person's name is next to their ID. So I'm going to use a VLOOKUP over here to look up their ID and tell me what their name is. All right, let's have a look. So equals VLOOKUP look up value so what am I looking up I'm looking up the ID I'm gonna look for the ID table array so where am I gonna look for the ID well it's here okay here it is here that's the first column of my table array but I also want to include the second column because that's where the answer is and that's the table array I'm going to make this absolute okay because I know I'm gonna copy this down so I'm gonna make it absolute cell referencing then the column index number well there's my first column over there there's my second column the second column is where the answer is that's the column I wanted to go down and find the answer so that's the second column column index number two and again it's I wrote place again oh my word you're gonna be kidding me false there you go check it out and it works it works it's beautiful so I'm just gonna drag that down there fill up the rest make sure they all work absolutely awesome very cool isn't it I'll show you one more example of VLOOKUP in action and this is the meal planner. You know if it's got, if it's got to do with me, it's got to do, we're going to have food, okay? So I'm um, sorry about that. Okay, so here we go. So here you can see I have a meal planner, breakfast, lunch, and supper uh, from Sunday through to Saturday. And then just a disclaimer, this is not my actual real meal planner, okay? <laughs> There's way too little meat on here. And um, yeah, I don't know. I can't afford all that. Are you crazy? Anyway, let's have a look. I'm using the VLOOKUP over here to look up the day, Monday, Okay, and I, again, I also changed it here with a drop down so you can like go crazy if you want to and see what it does. But I'm going to use the VLOOKUP to look up the day and what is for breakfast on any of those days. Okay, so let me show you. Let's do it one step at a time. Equals VLOOKUP. Now you'll notice I just press tab eh, to like auto complete, then it just keeps going if that makes sense. Right, the lookup value, well, the lookup value is going to be here, Monday. I'm looking up the day of the week. Good. Then the table array, all right, the table array is going to be, well, all the days of the week and it's breakfast, lunch, and supper. Cool. Now I'm going to say that. What is my column index number? So I'm looking for breakfast. And in terms of the column index number, in this case, there's my first column, column one. Column two is breakfast. So it's column number two. And the range lookup is false. So there we go. Oh! Blueberry banana nut snoot smoothie. It tries that fast because I just didn't. I failed. That's actually pretty cool. All right, and see if I change this to any one of these, it's gonna tell me what the breakfast is for that day. Not bad. Now we can do the same thing for lunch and for supper, but we can also work a little smarter here. All right, we've got the main function that we need in the cell, so let's just copy it and just tweak what we need. So I'm gonna copy that over there. I'm going to go to this cell over here and paste the function in there. And you can see, right, VLOOKUP B11. Well, B11 is the is the, over there. I don't want to do that one. That's going to confuse me. I'm just going to change B11 to B14. I can type it in. I can click on it. I can even just drag that reference down because it's all color-coded. Drag it down. B14, fantastic. The range stays the same, but the column index number is different because we're looking at lunch this time. And if you remember, there was column 1. Column two, column three is lunch. Column three is lunch. Lunch at column three. See you there. Voila, slow cooker split pea soup. No thanks, okay. I'm gonna change it because like, it's just, ooh, tuna melts. Sounds good, I don't actually know what it is. I'm sure it's good. All right, let's do this again. Copy, and we'll just paste it in there. And again, what am I looking up? I'm not looking up that day. I want to look up this day. So I'm going to drag that down there. Or you could just click, click, you know, select the cell. It's totally up to you guys, okay? And of course, the index number, it just moves one over because it's now the, the fourth column. So the column index number is four. And there you go. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is what VLOOKUP does, a vertical lookup. It goes up and down a column looking for what you tell it to look for. When it finds it, it then goes across to another column that you tell it to go to and it tells you what is in that column in the same row. 
V lookup. The next video we're going to look up is <laughs> look up. <laughs> the next video we're going to look at is uh, H lookup. So I'll let you think about what the H stands for. Oh, mysterious.